Hey, this is Anthony from Absolute Saving. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Scorpion Exo GT920 helmet available at Revzilla.com. New for the spring of 2016, this is the new GT920 from Scorpion. And if we look at it, big difference here compared to the previous sport modulars from Scorpion, this is a sport helmet with modular features, meaning it has a flip up design. This is not a modular helmet that they made more sporty. I will say, my dearest 900X, which came out for one year, which I actually like the direction they went with it, you were a modular helmet that was made more sporty. The difference in being a sport helmet that now has modular features is it's aggressive, extremely aggressive. Very different aerodynamic and venting scheme has premium features that you'd see or expect from a sport helmet. They've only gone up about $10, so it's just over the $200 mark. And again, you're getting that modular functionality. The big thing I'm gonna call out here is really the weight saving. So you're still polycarb, right? You're still going to be a DOT, but you're now three pounds, 10 ounces on the new 920. The previous version was four pounds plus. You've shaved 10 ounces. You're getting down into one of the most lightweight modulars on the market. So that means sport, sport touring, sport commuting. If you want an aggressive helmet and you just want the flexibility of the flip up design, this actually isn't even that bad of a sport helmet considering that it's modular. If you forget the modular features, three pounds, 10 ounces with this feature set, it's a really Nice helmet from a bang for the buck feature. They've also changed a few other key things. The drop down sun visor, which is integrated, now comes down a little bit further and has a more positive interaction. They've changed the venting on the top of the helmet, a little bit easier to use with a gloved hand. And the other thing that I really like outside of the shield, which we're gonna talk about in a second, is they've given you speaker cutouts. So now you have a helmet that, especially if you're commuting to work, if you like a Bluetooth device to be integrated, you now have the speaker cutouts that allow you to comfortably put those speakers in the ear positions without them creating a pressure point. So again, big story here three pounds, 10 ounces, huge weight saving, and a much more aggressive profile with some of the other creature comforts that you'd expect. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about is the fit. Previous version, XO900, XO900 X, we're a little bit more on the round side. The GT920 is now intermediate oval. It's what I expect to be primarily the head shape for the American market. Little bit longer front to back, shaped just like my head, not overly round, not overly narrow. This is gonna fit right down the middle of the fairway and should fit most people. The people that it won't fit are really gonna be those outlier cases. Very round, or again, super, super narrow and thin, but you know who you are. Remember, use the size chart, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And as always, I'd love to you click our logo, leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback on the new XO920, or XO GT920, rather. Now, if we dive into some of the other creature comforts of the, of the helmet itself, remember, you do have the single position chin vent that's gonna vent to the shield. Remember, it's quick wick in the liner system, but it's also an Everclear shield, and the Everclear is gonna be your fog-free coating. I also at, like that they added the Elliptex system on this helmet, so you'll notice Look at the base plate here. See how it moves? It goes back when it locks down. It's creating a more positive seal against this gasket, so it's gonna be more weatherproof. It's using appropriate and current Scorpion technology. Moving back to the helmet, much bigger in its spoiler than we saw in the previous version. If you look at them side by side, here's a good shot. You're gonna be able to compare the two. Dramatic in the difference here, much more of an aggressive shape. So in the tuck in the three quarter, it's gonna play more nicely from an aerodynamic standpoint. And when you're just standing still, it's gonna look that much more aggressive and that much more cool. If we look at the back here, two big extractor vents, again, 10 millimeter vent holes moving their way through the EPS, allowing air to come in, circulate and go through. And I already talked about the drop down sun visor coming down further, but also giving you a much more positive action. Much smoother, easier to find with a gloved hand. I'll also say that this top vent, like I said earlier, easier to find with a gloved hand. That's important. Now we open the helmet up, I'm gonna pop it this way. You're gonna see the chin bar mechanism is right under the chin curtain here. You can see it at the top. I'm lifting this red mechanism right here. That's going to operate the actuators on the side, which are metallic. I believe they're steel or aluminum. Again, they're not plastic in their integration points. Again, when you go to a modular helmet, you are introducing a place that could be a potential break point. You wanna have the metal hardware versus plastic hardware keeping everything in place. Remember, you're wearing this helmet ultimately to do its job in a crash scenario. Now, if I take it and I put it on its ear, one of the things you're gonna notice that's missing that really I can't call out as a great because I think internally at Revzilla, from our standpoint, it was mixed reviews. They got rid of the air fit system. Now, if you want the air fit system, which is really that pump that allows you to fine tune the cheek pads, you can go up to something like the GT3000. It saves you two ounces in weight. It's a composite shell and it has the air fit system and a slightly upgraded fit and finish through the Quick Quick 3 liner. Now that's a big jump in price, but again, that's what you're missing. For me on this helmet, for where the cost comes in, and let me remove this, 
this chin curtain here really, it's just kind of hanging. What I like about it is I'm okay with where they landed. They've only increased the cost about $10 over their previous version, and I think you're getting a lot more helmets. So unless you're a diehard AirFit guy, I would not make that the limiting factor of why you don't invest here. But make sure you check out the GT3000 if you want to know what that next step up looks like. Now, if we look at the helmet itself, once we get into the guts, remember, you do have vents here that attach to the brow. They're going to have air coming in from, it's going to come off the shield. They're going to help the circulation. Your neck roll and your cheek pads are all in one. That is typically something Scorpion does. Notice it is quick, quick too. It's antimicrobial. It's going to be wicking. It's gonna pull sweat away from you. Easy to clean, great longevity, three connection points to keep it in the helmet. And now they're giving you the ability to have that speaker pocket, which you didn't have before. And if I turn it on its side, you're gonna get a quick shot at it right underneath my face finger there, but you can see that there's a speaker cutout. They didn't have that. On the previous version, if you put a Bluetooth unit on the outside of this helmet, it was going to create a pressure point over your ear because there wasn't enough room to have that speaker pocket. Now you have the flexibility. More and more, we're seeing Bluetooth units become super popular within the moto space. The technology's gotten really solid, and in my opinion, it's gotten really reasonable in price. You're going to want to have that flexibility, especially if you're thinking about taking this on longer trips or you're commuting to work. Remember, at three pounds, 10 ounces, you can rock this helmet all day. That's gonna be in line with some of the more premium sport helmets that aren't modular. So again, one of the more premium modular helmets on the market. Now, I've removed my cheek pads. Remember, it's a double D-ring construction. I'm gonna pull my comfort liner out. There we go. Notice the front. The snaps are along the brow. They connect to the hard parts of the helmet itself so you don't have any pressure points on your forehead. Notice the big cutaways, allowing for maximum airflow, especially if you're sweating or on a long distance ride through the helmet. I call it a sport helmet, but sport touring means just extending that range and going multi-season. More flexibility and versatility give you that option, especially with the drop-down sun visor. Again, it's just a more versatile helmet. And if you look at the way the interior is constructed, remember, Quick Quick 2, the GT3000 is gonna have that Quick Quick 3, which is just a little bit sexier. It has a little bit of a different hand to it, but again, that would be one of the upgrades that you need to invest in. And if we look at the helmet on the guts here, you're gonna see big vent channels coming in from the front, moving to the back, allowing air to circulate around your head. Again, that's par for the course here. But the, the big theme here, moving up in the weight savings dramatically, taking the helmet and really starting from a place of sport aerodynamics and aggression and adding modular to it, giving you the improved mechanism on the sun visor and the creature comforts from the side of fit, as well as those speaker pockets. All in, I was surprised to see that they were gonna close out the 900X after only one year, but I gotta say 900, don't take it personally. I'm happy to see you go, because I think the 920 is a nice leap forward from Scorpion, who continues to be progressive and up their game. Bravo, Scorpion, you did good. I think this thing's going to be a juggernaut, especially around the $200 mark. Now, the next step in your journey is to click the info button on your screen, on your mobile device, Visit the product detail page at RevZilla.com. Go there, read rider reviews. Just start with my information, but make sure you see what the other riding community that's purchased an XO GT920 is saying about it. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to me at RevZilla TV on our YouTube channel. I'm not doing this for my health. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.